Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, <coughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm honored to uh, present recommendations from members of the TEPSA network here. I see this as a way to bring close our scholarly debates with uh, practical policy making. Um, and first of all, I should say that uh, what I will present is a collective effort. It's a result of a group of uh, people who are members of TEPSA, and especially I would like to acknowledge input of uh, Professor Jan Beck from London School of Economics, who did a great job in uh, summarizing all the ideas and suggestions. And also yesterday suggested uh, to me how to sum all these recommendations up in one phrase phrase which is well known to you, I'm sure, a phrase which was first used by James Carville, uh, Bill Clinton's uh, campaign strategist, and which goes, the economy is stupid. Uh, so facilitating economic growth and competitiveness is clearly priority number one. Uh, and that, that's a very strong agreement also among uh, uh, members of TEPSA network, and uh, we heard a lot from Minister about the plans of Irish Presidency. Indeed, a lot in this area depends on individuals, companies, uh, markets, member state institutions, but EU has an important role to play. Uh, we heard about European semester, there is also strategy Europe 2020, uh, which will be continued under Irish Presidency. We also expect further work on Single Market Act, uh, actually two already Single Market uh, Acts, which were proposed by the European Commission and a number of initiatives that go under uh, these acts. Uh, also, uh, there are debates, intense debates going on on the banking union, so uh, issues linked to the banking union will have to be further clarified under Irish Presidency. Uh, facilitating the uh, construction of the supervisory system of uh, uh, financial markets. Uh, these are just a few examples of uh, uh, what are the further steps in uh, creating better conditions for economic growth, uh, boosting economic growth across the European Union. The second priority is uh, youth agenda. I'm glad that Minister also mentioned this, especially uh, very high unemployment level among young people that we see these days in the European Union. And a number of different uh, uh, measures can be uh, continued and uh, intensified to tackle this problem, ranging from uh, initiatives uh, dealing with uh, vocational training, requalifications, uh, uh, easy access to the labor market, reducing barriers to enter uh, labor markets, uh, fostering exchange between member states uh, in terms of best practices of uh, regulating labor markets to facilitate uh, job creation among young people. Uh, we all know that uh, today there are intense negotiations going on uh, in Brussels on uh, the next financial, multi-annual financial perspective, and we hope they will be concluded, if not this week, then at least by the end of this year, which would uh, still leave very important uh, uh, duties for the Irish presidency uh, to complete the process uh, together with uh, the European Parliament, uh, national parliaments, and uh, uh, draft uh, secondary legislation to put uh, the agreement into place and to do that also very quickly uh, without, without any delays. Then we have uh, singled out uh, a priority which deals with infrastructure connections, energy, transport, telecommunications. These all form a very important part of the single market. They facilitate functioning of the single market and we expect uh, Irish presidency to advance work work in, in these areas and also look forward to uh, adoption, the Connecting Europe facility, uh, which is foreseen in the next financial perspective. Uh, there are also several priorities which all deal with external affairs of the European Union. First of all, enlargement process. 
uh, ensuring that timetable for ratification of uh, the Croatian accession treaty uh, does not slip, uh, maintaining momentum for political and economic reform agenda in uh, the Western Balkan countries. That's also very important. And, uh, of course, pursuing uh, negotiations with Iceland and uh, Turkey, especially taking into the account what's happening in the Middle East and Turkey's role uh, in this respect. Uh, another external policy priority has to do with neighborhood policy. Uh, we're in close cooperation with European External Action Service. Presidency could also uh, support further reforms in eastern and southern neighborhood uh, and continue uh, bringing closer eastern partnership countries uh, to the European Union uh, by strengthening uh, political association, moving closer to uh, liberalization of trade. If we talk about liberalization of trade, then of course we also have to see broader perspective and what EU can do in further opening trade, global trade, strengthening its uh, trade relations with strategic partners such as Japan, United States, uh, other countries, and uh, I'm glad that uh, we also heard this as one of the priorities uh, in the speech of uh, Minister. Finally, what has also been uh, presented among the priorities by TEPSA members is what can be called European Union's political future, uh, the debates which we see uh, very intensely going on about uh, uh, further European integration. Uh, there are a lot of different proposals um, and putting these proposals in order uh, is also a big challenge and an opportunity for the Irish presidency and to do that by engaging citizens, uh, European Parliament, uh, national uh, parliaments, uh, uh, this will be also a very important and interesting uh, process that will continue uh, into next year and uh, further on. So to conclude this, this brief presentation, and uh, you can read uh, the recommendations uh, in full in the material that uh, has been distributed to you. Um, since I'm talking not only about priorities but challenges, I would like to conclude with uh, another quote, uh, this time a quote of uh, Prime Minister of Luxembourg, uh, Mr. Juncker, who said that uh, we all know what to do, we just don't know how to get re-elected after we've done it. <laughs> so my wish to Irish Presidency is also to deal successfully with this challenge and to pass on work to Lithuanian and Greek Presidencies in this trio. Thank you very much.